Hello Year 2, it's me Mr Knight and we're here for probably our last PE lesson at home. So for this you are going to need a space that you can work in where there's nothing to trip you up because we are going to be doing some gymnastics. So you will need, I said that, you need the space. You also need to ask your parent or guardian or whoever's at home if it's okay for you to do it. In fact, why don't you get them to come and join in as well? We can all do some more. So. When you've asked them and they feel it's okay, you're going to enter your space. And we are about to do gymnastics. Gymnastics is all about having really strong stomach muscles, pointy fingers, and pointy toes. And it's about holding shapes and looking graceful at the same time. So, the first shape that we're going to do, you might need to do a bit of practice. So, we're going to go down onto our bottoms with straight legs like this first. We're just going to do a little bit of stretching just to make sure that our bodies are able to do this. And if you are wearing shoes, take them off. Or do it with the laces if you can't take them off. Our hands are going to be placed on the floor with our fingers pointing at our feet. We're going to put our feet flat on the floor with our knees raised. And we're going to lift our bodies up like so. Then when we've mastered this, we are going to lift one arm up and one leg up. Make sure they're the opposite legs. The next one we're going to do is all about keeping our body nice and tight. So we put our feet together at the back and our hands on the floor. Making our arms nice and strong by pushing our elbows in. We're going to push up with our toes and make our body nice and straight, like so. From here, we're going to go into our neck shape. Make sure you you make sure nothing is on the floor apart from your toes and your hands. And we're going to walk up together, and then our hands up. And this is called the A shape. We are making an A with our body. Put your head down, back straight, A shape. For our next one. Our next one is all about, again, having that strong belly. And we are going to lie on the floor. Lying on the floor. Hands up above our head. And have a snooze. Only joking. We are going to reach our hands to the sky and our feet to the sky, but not like this. That's called bending your knees. We're going to lift our feet by squeezing our hips so they come off the floor without us bending them. Ideally, if you're like me and a bit older, you can bend them. So, we are going to be looking. And three, two, one. Raise the feet, raise the arms. And this is called the dish. Because apparently you look like a dish that you eat your food off. But I'm not so sure on it. If you're really flexible, you can make yourself into a bowl. Some people can make themselves into glasses, but I'm just doing the dish. Okay, that one was really hard. The next one we're going to do. Oh, this one's a personal favourite. It's exactly the same. Dish but reverse. So we're on our back this time, and again, you can have a little snooze for a bit. And then, hands up in the sky, feet down low, lifting them up, and again, we are a dish. I wonder what I will be served with. Noodles. Noodles? I like those. Oh, that one was really tricky. And they're only going to get tricky, I'm afraid. So if you're feeling like you've you need to stretch, stretch it out in between. Okay, make sure again we've got a nice clean space. And we've got somebody watching over us. Mr. Paul Road watching over us so I don't get injured. And if, he, if I do, he's there to help me. The next one, you're going to need to be really concentrated. Very zen. I'm going to focus. I'm going to lie back. I'm going to use my hands to support now. 
So my legs are going to go in the air, and I'm going to just pick my hands by my bottom and squeeze up to make a straight shape. Now you might need some goes at practicing this. You might want to practice by just bending your legs. Can you see me? And then when you get better, bend it above your head. And then push it up. Okay, using those arms to support yourself. Mr. Corduroy is impressed with that. He didn't think I could do it, but I did. When you want to go at those, let us know if you've got on and enjoy them. See you soon for activity two. Pause the video, have a go. Hello year two, it's time for your next challenge. For this challenge, you're gonna need a competitor to race against. If you don't have one of those, you can use the clock. Time yourselves, see how quick you can do it. Here's the aim of the game. Here we have got t-shirts that are inside out. We're gonna use our finger skills to reach into the t-shirt, pinching them at the arms, pulling them back again. Ta-da, like magic. The race is on to transform these t-shirts back into their original self. First person to do that is the winner. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, the race is heating up. Oh, I got longer sleeves. It's unfair. Quick. Who won? <laughs> Who won? Let us know. Right, have a go and enjoy, because this is a practical one, because we know some of you struggle with this too. Stay safe.